Hi, my name is Dr. Paul with No BS Water. If you're ever thirsty and the last place you think of to quench your thirst is the tap, then this is a video you'll really be glad you found. And here's why. Getting thirsty is part of the human experience, and many people think that means your body needs hydration. It really means your body needed hydration a while ago, before you actually felt thirsty. Being thirsty is one of the body's dehydration symptoms, and so it needs rehydration. So now what do you do to catch up? What are the options to rehydrate when you get this dehydration reaction of being thirsty? Soda? Carbonated drinks? This is one of the most common choices, but totally wrong. Sodas contain a ton of sugar or an artificial sweetener that will still give your body an insulin response as if it had sugar. But many sodas also contain caffeine, a known diuretic. What's a diuretic? It's something that makes you pee more. Not so good when you're trying to rehydrate after feeling thirsty. Caffeine can be one of the causes of dehydration. What's another common choice? Energy drinks? An artificial charge of even more insulin boosters and caffeine or similar substances? Well, we don't need to go further on this topic. Remember, we're trying to rehydrate your body because you're thirsty. When you get that part right, you'll be amazed at how much energy you can have. Coffee or tea? Do we need to mention that caffeine thing again? What? You drink decaf? Better, but still not the same as drinking water. You've probably also added extra calories in the form of sweetener, or at least turned on that insulin response in your body if you use diet sweeteners. What about juices? They must be good for you, right? Well, pure juice, freshly squeezed, is good for you for sure. From a carton or a bottle? Well, that juice is already partially oxidized, which means that the energy it contains is already partially released and no longer available to your body. But you still haven't done the obvious thing to rehydrate your body. So you finally settle on the, duh, idea to overcome the effects of dehydration. Water. But there's one more dilemma. Bottled water versus tap water? If you believe all the marketing hype, then you'll go with the bottled water. And for that privilege, you will get to pay anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 times the cost of the water that comes from the tap in your kitchen, your bathroom, your bathtubs and showers. You likely even have a tap in both the front and back of your house. More predicaments exist even if you go with natural bottled water. You have to figure out which bottled water brands and bottled water prices make sense to you. And just what is bottled water's shelf life if you're going to buy it in bulk to save money? Hmm. I'm here to help you solve your symptoms of dehydration and eliminate your confusion along the way. I'm a healthcare expert, but I know when I need to bring in the outside experts. I've teamed up with Colleen, a groundwater expert and consultant with almost two decades of experience. She assesses and then designs water treatment systems for homes and businesses. When I started discussing water with her in detail, I was amazed at what I hadn't known before and how some of the most simple things could be done to tap water to make it the best healthy water you could ever drink. And here's the great part. Even though it involves more than just a tap water filter, it can all be done for far less than what you would ever pay for bottled water. They say that knowledge is power. I say that applied knowledge is power. Would you like to find out what I've learned and applied so that you can use it for yourself and your family? Come on over and join us at NoBSWater.com where you can get access to our free drinking water education system. Learn more about the benefits of drinking life support water.